Hi everybody, I'm Jed Johnson. Everybody calls me Napalm though. And I've been asked several times to weigh in about the tremendous feat of grip strength that took place recently. Carl Myers Co. certified on the number four gripper with the credit card set. He's the first person to ever do so. And he's the first person well over 10 years to certify on the number four gripper. And if you don't know, uh, the people that certified on the four on the list use the old rules where you could set it down to about an inch of space between the handles and then closing it. There's been several iterations of the rules. We won't go into that right now. I just want to focus on the feet. So first off, I want to say that anything I say in this video is zero disrespect to Carl Myers Co. And I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. That's how I've heard people pronounce it, even though it looks like Myers Cough. Uh, so no disrespect towards Carl whatsoever. I'm just weighing in because people have asked me in my YouTube channel, direct messages through various apps, etc. Um, I think the reason that people are asking me my opinion is because the video is shot from so far away and at a downward angle and because the video is so far away it's hard to actually see the gripper handles touch and I think most people are used to more of a mash monster style filming where the focus is not on the body it's focusing on the set and the clothes primarily so this is a different video from what we've seen in recent years of gripper certifications um, Carl probably has some of the strongest hands in the world, and this is a feat of strength that is <clears throat> pretty much unmatched. There's, there's not much that you can point to that would equate to the level of difficulty of the feat that Carl has performed here. Um, so we can focus on the video for just a moment. It is very, very far away, and the... The filming standards for MASH Monster videos are to be very, very close to the gripper, pointed up for the best visual of the set depth and the close. So that was not done here. And there's a thread on gripboard.com, which I will put in the description box so that you can go and read it. However, very often when I link to gripboard posts, there's something going on with the grip board where you can't get directly to the post. So the link will be in the description box. Hopefully it'll take you there. If not, the title of the post that you can search for is Carl Myers Co. Makes History and Certifies on Captains of Crush Number 4 Gripper. So, um, just so you know, there is plenty of history between myself and Iron Mind. Um, I am a certified closer of the three. I did it under the old rules and I have not tried to recertify with the credit card set maybe one day, but right now I have absolutely no interest in doing so. I can tell you that I believe a lot of the focus right now is on the quality of the video and the fact that this video was passed because you can't really clearly see in that video even when I zoomed it in and stretched it you know how you drag your fingers across on a smartphone you can zoom in it was very hard to see if the gripper was closed and immediately he pulls it out of the, the, the viewpoint of the camera and he said that was because he got a cramp or a strain in his bicep so he gave it all he could and then when that the intensity of that strain was too much he had to pull away. I can tell you this is not the first video that was submitted to Iron Mind that had tremendous scrutiny. Uh, several years ago John McCarter submitted a hub world record video and it was very clear from the video he beat the down call. That video was passed however and that record stood. Um, years ago Mike Burke was credited with a world record on the Iron Mine Axle. It was clear that that was not um, well controlled at the top and personally I would not have okayed that lift but what do I know? It's not my certification 
and Iron Mind can make the decision that they want to. A few years back, my lifting partner Luke Raymond lifted what would have been the world record on the Iron Mind Little Bighorn, and it was very close. He may have beat my call, but I was in the process of saying down when it went down. That video was scrutinized by Iron Mind, and it was disallowed. So that lift was not counted as a world record. More recently, we saw Derek Palmieri submit a video for the Crush to Dust certification. It was very clear that the Rolling Thunder was pinned against his leg throughout the duration of that of that portion of the certification. Iron Mind checked out the video and they okayed it. I don't know how that's possible to certify someone on a Rolling Thunder lift when the handle is pinned against their leg, but nevertheless, it happened. Um, in talking with Derek, he felt that he met the requirements and he was not interested in doing the cert over. Um, so that's his prerogative. And now we have the Carl, Carl Myers Co. video where he clearly sets the credit card strictly through the handles of the gripper, closes it down to what may be closed, but because the video is so far away, you really can't tell if it's closed. Carl says he felt it close, so it probably did close. However, I am also um, a MASH Monster certification judge through the grip board, I can tell you that that video would not have passed. Um, you can go through the grip board post. I'm going to, like I said, link it in the description box below. Um, you can go through the discussion. Uh, a guy named Slaz Bob on the grip board mentioned that the video was kind of questionable. Uh, a user named Chez. Cesare Richeza, who is one of the best gripper guys in the United States, um, he weighed in with, with a statement saying he was disappointed in the quality of the video, that he is also a Mash Monster judge and that would not pass. Um, and again, we have an accepted practice of having the, the camera or the phone very, very close to the gripper at an upward angle so you can see the set and the close very clearly. I want to say that I am nowhere near closing a three with a credit card set, let alone a three and a half or a number four of any rating whatsoever. So, you know, I am nowhere near my top form of grippers because they really don't have much of a place in training anymore, in my training anymore. But I can tell you that this feat is legendary. To close the number four in any means is impressive. To do it the way that Carl did is otherworldly, and it's it's one of the greatest things that I've seen in years, is especially for gripper closes. Um, I have no doubt from the videos that Carl has posted in uh, recent weeks and months that he is capable of a credit card close. It's just unfortunate that. Oh, and he also told and uh, told us all on the grip board forum that he was meeting the requirements of what Iron Mind asked him to do for the video to take a wide shot, to be able to show his whole body, and to clearly display the setting of the credit card. Um, so my hats off to Carl Myers Co. Tremendous. I mean, I don't even know if tremendous really is a good enough word to describe the level of crushing strength for this feat. But tremendous is what I'm pulling right now. It really is uh, an incredible, impressive feat of strength. My congratulations to Carl for what he has accomplished here. But I think what's going to stand the test of time, unfortunately, is that the video quality, the way he was asked to shoot the video, is going to put a damper on the feet to a degree because you can't clearly see that the gripper is closed. It's really hard to get that set, that that close on film sometimes when it's a top level squeeze. And I know that the judges sometimes really have to deliberate on some of the mash monster closes. And that's with a video camera much closer to the 
gripper than what we see here in Carl's video. So it, it's tough. It's just, it's a shame that so many feats of strength that have been reviewed by Iron Mind have been questionable to some degree. And unfortunately, it looks like this video that Carl has submitted is going to be in that group of somewhat questionable feats. Again, I've seen what Carl has put out. This man is certainly strong enough to close a number four gripper with a credit card set. When you take into consideration how much grippers vary, I mean, you can look at the ratings that Canon Powerworks puts out. They vary from 205 to 220. 15 pounds RGC on a number four gripper is a huge difference. We don't know what this gripper rated. Uh, we don't know if we will know what that gripper rated. But if it's 205 or above, then most people in the world that specialize in grip, put tremendous time in on grippers, are not going to be able to close that gripper. Um, Carl is head and shoulders above the rest of us in many grip feats, especially grippers. He showed us that by the, the training footage that he has provided online. The man is a tremendous gripster. And again, I think he probably closed the gripper, but it would just be awesome. It would be so much better if the footage clearly showed it. That's, that's all I want to say. If anyone else wants to check out the discussion on the grip board, like I said, I'll put a link in the description box. If it doesn't show up, again, that thread is titled Kyle, uh, excuse me, Carl Myers Co. M Y E R S C O U G H makes history and certifies on Captains of Crush number four gripper. So, uh, congratulations again uh, to Carl for getting the certification done. This is something that I myself and many people have speculated might never take place. I don't know if the rarity and the immense difficulty of the feat is something that factored in to the judging process. Who knows? I haven't contacted Iron Mind. I will not be con contacting Iron Mind regarding this. I'm just giving you my viewpoint and a bit of the history uh, related to some of the certifications with Iron Mind that I've seen in my experience in my over 20 years of, of grip competition, certifications, feats, etc. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. You can weigh in in the comments section if you like with your viewpoint. And I'll close by saying this, absolutely zero hate towards Carl Myersko. I am not doing this video in order to put Carl down in any way. Simply, the video is a lackluster video for the gravity of this feat. That's my viewpoint. Thank you, everyone. Take care.